Hi guys. Another episode of uh, the Queer Earth Diaries. I forgot what it was called there. <laughs> Trying to avoid moving into pres presenter teacher mode. Trying to stay open and present and vulnerable. See if we can do this in real time. Can I soothe myself as you, the viewer, soothes yourself? So, what I need to get my words out and be more confident. The bird song, feeling the earth. That somehow manifests for you wherever you are right now, whether you're in an office or at home. Or stay unscripted, try to work with things coming up in real time, just have some vague ideas of what it, what it is. It's somewhere between a meditation and a conversation. I could do the guided meditation thing and that's, that's, that's nice and it is what it is, um, but this is maybe not that. That because if I go into that teaching a meditation, guiding a meditation, then I'm sort of in a teacher space, <laughs> guru space, or a distant, just, just like I'm protecting myself. skin trying not to lose sight of that bird song and it's exploding around as well just because I know that's happening in real time isn't it the birds noises are happening in real time the insects buzzing All, even the cars in the car park over there, people coming and going, that's all happening in the real time, whereas everything else is happening in my mind. A beautiful day today. Very calm and peaceful. Getting some lovely feedback, just the, the video that I posted the other day there. Surprising where it lands, actually and surprising in a lovely way. Surprising how it's landed with friends and people really close to me actually, like Allowing a softer version of myself to be to be seen, I guess. Use phrases like heart open and stuff, and we get I don't know we lose people. I can lose we can lose an audience. Some you know if I can get a room full of yogis, then you know we can fall in love with that that language and we can use it. And, Lovely, but can 
also be very alienating and very feel like we're miles away from that you know that heart open stuff is what other people you know the the great meditators in the world Thich Nhat Hanh or something maybe beyond beyond us and then there's a sense of like it's just a facade it's a pretense if we start using those words if on a deeper level we actually feel like I'm quite closed off in the world you know quite closed off with everyone beyond my immediate family say Closed, if I'm heart closed during my day to day reality, and then I go into a yoga space and then I talk about being heart open. On some level, it's just not going to land, is it? It's not, we can see through that stuff. I had a dream about opening my heart and being well, maybe in this space actually in a field with guys lying on our backs and just encouraging everyone to open their hearts. Some sort of mirror images happening in the clouds as well. It's cool, not because it's yogi. But because the world's crying out for it, I think. We don't practice being heart centered and when we need it most, you know, so we don't we don't have it as a resource to tap into. Um, Claire, my very wise wife, she, she always picks up on it. it um, often funerals and weddings, big events allow a space for that heart-centered emotional stuff, the deeper, uh, more meaningful things to be celebrated together in a room and a space together, you know, that can be quite magical. Spaces to be in, so everyone feels safe. It's understood that we can be more emotional in those in those uh, settings, uh, but then it quickly closes down outside. So we know what it is. We feel it. dragonfly thing here. Heart seems inaccessible right now, then maybe just softening the belly as a start. Let's just meet yourself where you're at. And just soften the belly and just allow 
the fullness of the moment to be with you. Relaxing hands. We spoke about not needing anything from a, from a moment, just having a moment in our day when we're not needing anything. <clears throat> Even the need to feel safe. physically check and make sure I'm in a safe place and then I can give myself that. I don't need to hold myself safe, you know, this is a safe environment and I'm being held. I don't need to be guarded. Yes, I need to be safe. That's probably not phrased very well, but I don't need to be guarded. I can allow. generosity with whatever point of the meditation you're in generosity where you're just giving yourself it you just give yourself it like if it's not working you can give yourself that you know you can it's that generosity where you see you know you you have a two or three year old i don't know doing that shoe trying to get their shoes on for the first time and uh get their shoes on the wrong feet and you, you give them that don't you you you're patient enough to explain what's going on you know you don't take the shoes off them and chastise them jump on them you give them that space to make those mistakes you give them an opportunity just to keep going back and keep fiddling around and just need that with our meditation space as well So when I relax and then I immediately tense something back up, then I just give the generosity of just stuff, yeah, let's come back in. And allow that and just let it go as best I can. Well, this is very soothing for me, guys. I hope it's as, as soothing for you on watching in your space. For the security of the earth, feel, feel your feet on the floor. Allow the conversation to wash over you. Nothing to figure out. Good Earth Diaries. I think this is uh, chapter two of <laughs> our well, Good Earth Diaries series. So.